Hello everybody, my name is Good Fedora Fella, and uh, today is the anniversary of my very first video. Cue the clips. <laughs> Victory. <laughs> Enough about me. Let's get on with what I am doing right now. Which I actually kind of went off script for. That one's by far still the most watched video on my channel. And, uh, funny thing about that video is, like I've said several times before, uh, that one was basically on the spur of the moment, you know? It was one of those things where I would have procrastinated over and over and over again until I actually, uh, never would get to it. And, uh, I decided, you know what? If I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this here and now. And it was going to be for New Year's, but then I realized how close I had cut it, so it didn't work out that way. And uh, I did a surprising amount of that work in a short period of time. The longest part was actually uploading the stupid thing onto YouTube because of my computer here. I mean, as much as I love this PC, it's not perfect. So it very much lacks the ability of processing things very fast and very expediently so you know it is what it is <clears throat> while I uh, did want to do something special for this New Year's I uh, I also like doing something special for the day I uh, make my videos or the first video anyways uh, the first, uh, well, the second year, I don't think I actually did anything for my video anniversary because it kind of went by and I didn't realize it. And, uh, I didn't value it as much at the time because, you know, it's like, why celebrate every little thing that you did, right? But, uh, now I'm, uh, posting this rather humble video with a very little editing. I'm not going to add music or anything like that. I'm just, I'm just talking to everyone heart to heart right here i'm cutting out the bits where i might be lost in space for a few moments and uh trying to get my bearings back hey i said no editing <laughs> obviously you can tell that i edited that part though because you know because i enjoy it it's fun it's it's enjoyable that's one of the things i like about it. um when i could just edit my own stuff you know i mean a lot of people don't know is that uh, when you're editing your own stuff, it's in your control, you know? You don't feel as bad whenever you can't do this or that, you know? It's it's acceptable. When you pay someone to do it, it's a different matter entirely because you're expecting something that you're paying for. I couldn't even find anyone to edit this kind of stuff, let alone would I want to look for someone to edit this stuff because this is one of those things that just kind of grow on you after a while. It's uh, one of the earliest memories I've had of uh, YouTubing. And the reason why I'm bringing this up right now is because uh, I had made a promise to my parents long ago. In fact, at the start of this channel, you know, to justify what I'm doing. I, uh, I go follow the rule that uh, my uh, dad follows, you know. Try something for a little while and see if it works. And if it doesn't, then drop it don't waste any more time with it uh for those of you who are probably guessing what i'm getting at here is that well i might be dropping youtube it's not because i'm doing terrible in fact i'm actually doing pretty good considering the part of the issue that comes around is the fact that i made a promise to them that i was gonna quit doing youtube videos uh about three years later in three years I would stop. 
this is about to be that final year. This is about to be the last little haul I have to do, really. I was thinking that when recently I was starting to tug at me pretty hard, honestly, because it's like, where did the time go? I mean, when you work at a sugar factory, I mean, time flies like crazy over there. It's ridiculous. But the time before that, what was I doing? And I realize I, for the most part, wasted some of my time. I mean, I haven't even played a video game in a decent while at all. In fact, the videos you uh, see me doing are all just on very well planned uh, moments, you know. Times when I actually kind of cut my schedule down to this narrow point. And uh, sometimes I don't even succeed in that because of editing problems, you know. I mean, sometimes something goes right, sometimes it doesn't go right. This recording right here is just a spur of the moment because in the morning I'm going to be working. But uh, I wanted to do this video because I always want to post something on my anniversary video of usually an update or something epic. But I haven't had anything epic planned for this moment because I quite frankly didn't know what I was going to do at this moment. So I decided, you know, update. That'll work fine. But uh. I decided to cut back on the editing part for this video because it's going to be a little more on point on what I'm trying to get at here. Of course, I'm going to cut out the parts where I'm going to be picking out my ear like this later on because ah, it drives me nuts. Ah. But obviously, since you saw that one, I didn't edit it. <laughs> so therefore, you know, I am a human being. But, uh... I decided I wanted to post this video up to uh, kind of state what I feel about this moment. And what I feel is this. I don't want to stop making videos, honestly. I mean, sure, my channel is not exactly growing, per se. At least I'm getting a little more stable in how I'm doing things. I mean, <laughs> I've posted a lot of videos compared to the second year when I started this channel. Or even the first year. But, uh... It's still a little lackluster in some regards. I mean, I can understand that people have better things to do than to watch people play video games. But it's one of those things where, you know, it's just easy, you know? I mean, some projects take a lot of time. And I realize I, I couldn't spend that much time on certain projects. Not at all what I was expecting. I mean, shoot, that first video took me like three days straight trying to get that thing published and edited. And, uh, that was when I also didn't know what I was doing, so that also had some to do with, uh, how it went, because I never had a YouTube channel at the time, and, uh, that was my, uh, first video on there, so... Needless to say, I was lost. Uh, it's, uh, it's a humbling experience, really. And uh, now that I'm at this point where I've understood uh, YouTube videos like to a fine point, and I feel more confident in my editing and stuff, it's a whole lot more enjoyable, honestly. It's, um, it's one of those things where you kind of, it kind of grows on you, you know? It's like a chore. A chore that, at first, it's like repetitive and stuff like that, but you have to do it, you know, because it's for your own good. Same thing with video editing for me. I needed to do something to make myself up, you know, more open, you know. Granted, it probably wasn't the best idea when I became a brony, but if anything, I figured, you know, on the internet, you'd find more bronies or to make friends with I don't, you know and I have made a couple of friends a uh, few of them have been uh, kind of leaning off the uh, internet world a bit but uh there are a couple that I still stay in contact with one of my friends is a uh, pro monarch which by the way here's a link to his channel if you're ever curious as to what he does I remember when I watched his stuff I mean I was into YouTube for quite a while but 
I I don't remember how long he's been at it. I'm going to have to take a look at that when I get a chance, when my internet's working properly. But uh, I remember when I was watching his stuff, it's usually the kind of stuff I would have actually backed away from, you know. I would have been, you know, a little miffed by the quality. Because if you're going to do videos and stuff, why go half butt into it? He was using a uh, a Wii U uh, camera from what I understand. But give or take how it went, I can't say I fault him for it. Because, you know, you don't know if you're going to be interested in it. But anyways, I kind of liked the stuff he was talking about. Because it was stuff I agreed with. Uh, some of the topics he had touched on is something I can touch on pretty easily. That's why me and him get along so well. Especially in the brony fandom where uh, a lot of people are like being optimistic about the uh, new season coming out. Which is the reboot. And me and him are like, oh this is going to end horribly. Because they Hasbro has done this a couple of times before. Actually... A lot of companies have done this before, and it doesn't end well when you change the principles of what the uh, series it's based off of was going for. It's gonna be, a, it's gonna be a relapse of what had happened before in the past. If you knew uh, the MLP history, you would learn that uh, at first it was like coasting, it skyrocketed, it was doing fantastic. And then it started dropping a little, and they're like, okay, time to change strategy. And then they reboot it to another series and expect it to just skyrocket immediately. But then it starts just coasting on this point where it's just not making money. And then they decide, okay, we need to reboot this, and this time we're going to get right. And, uh... <laughs> Uh, so many disgusting smiling faces. I could go on and on about it, but that's not what this video is about. The point is that uh, sometimes change is a good thing, sometimes it's a bad thing, and uh, I, I honestly think that making these videos was a good thing for me because, you know, it gave me something to do. It gave me something to kind of reach for and to start expanding my ideas and stuff like that. Now... Needless to say, anyone who uh, isn't very close to me isn't going to bother watching this video this far into it, let alone take it seriously. But uh, it, this is a serious video because uh, I'm actually seriously considering uh, dropping YouTube. But uh, not before I do a couple of things. Now, of course, this is one of those things where it's just been integrated into my life so fine-tuned that... Uh, Every day I'm starting to think about all the things I'll do. Okay, I get dressed up, get ready for work. I come back, do a little cleaning like I've been doing recently a lot. Uh, start planning on uh, game pl uh, plays and stuff like that. Start thinking of ideas for making animations and stuff like that, which I have hardly gotten to because once you start on one of those projects, you better be set on it because... It starts taking up a lot of memory, and my PC doesn't have the best memory, so uh, it's one of those things that definitely take a lot of time and commitment for, which I still have, but they aren't quite finished, so, you know, it's one of those things. That's why Let's Plays were so much easier to come by, because, you know, you could just play a game, go through for about an hour and a half, and uh, edit a <laughs> enough video to make like 20 or 30 minutes usually I try and make it smaller but of course that takes more time to look for the stuff that you're thinking okay this is crap I need to get rid of it but that's one of those things that kind of start building up on you when you start criticizing yourself and looking closer I have many plans many many ideas and lately, I've not had any kind of time for any of that kind of stuff. I've been just coasting, trying my best to get stuff up, uploading a couple of videos that are outdated, and more recent ones. Like the uh, most recent one before this one, which was the uh, Fallout Equestria uh, Ruins. That one was uh, a newer one. I actually spent a whole day of, my, uh, of one of my days off just playing that game and another game called Ponyvania. Both of them I did about a couple, about an hour or so 
of play so that way I could edit them in pieces and then post them up kind of trying something different there and uh I uh I had fun doing that honestly but uh it is at that point where I have to make a decision to continue or to drop it I honestly don't want to drop this this uh project of mine I don't want to drop YouTube because I, I've done it so much. I mean, I'm kind of used to it. I like it. And uh, I've only been getting better, but at the same time, I have to think, is it really worth it? It's just one of those things where it's like, the reason I started YouTubing was because I wanted to make an impact on someone, you know? Cause and effect. There were videos I saw, and loved that inspired me to do things like writing and uh, thinking of different game ideas and concepts and stuff like that but long before that movies inspired me and even before that it was uh, other things like video like a uh, like commercials and stuff like that cartoons toys inspired me a lot but it was when I got past all those phases and I actually started picking up my very first book and started reading it that that's when my creativity started exploding life is about finding what you're passionate about that's one of the steps and for the longest time I didn't know what my passion was and I discovered what it was or rather how I can summarize it in one word after going through so many things that I just love doing because I have this sense of joy from it because I like animating I like writing I like planning ahead I like <laughs> I like doing all kinds of stuff I love playing with Legos I still love playing with Legos I like playing board games and stuff like that and uh, I discovered there's one thing that I can summarize my passion in just one word and that word is stories. I am passionate about stories. Now, one would say that just because you have a passion doesn't mean you're any good at it. In my case, I know I am very good at it. It's just that on this YouTube channel, you do not see that because it is kind of overshadowed by some of the... Uh, lack of confidence and the resources and skills and the frustration with myself because it's not perfect it's not the way I want to be and uh, that kind of affects the finishing product I find very much so because I had many plans I want to implement but my limit when it comes to a video is creating something that can visually go along with it you know if I make an animation I want to have original characters I want to have an original setting I want to have these resources that can be you know kind of placed in different parts of this situation but with drawing I could draw it out and it'll be easier you would think but I find that I also get frustrated with that but I can't complain too much because uh, after all this picture right here <clears throat> Joe sec This picture right here was my first attempt at drawing officially. Now, what this picture represents is basically, it's kind of silly, but it was also a concept that was just novel at the time because no one in the fandom was doing anything like this. And the idea is that these are all ponies that are kind of sprawled around out here. You might not see it very well. But the summary of this picture is just a bunch of ponies traveling into this uh, land. And then there's this ginormous one that's coming out of nowhere and just attacking them. It didn't take long for it to reach them or anything like that. And there's just this one individual that's just huddled up in the behind some rocks hoping that this giant monstrosity doesn't see him. That's wearing this, this skull that's supposed to be a dragon's head. Or rather, a dragon skull. Needless to say, that picture was not perfect. It's not perfect, but... Considering that I had touched a pencil or anything like that in years, and then I just drew that... 
that was actually a pretty proud moment for me, honestly. And a lot of people, this just would criticize something like that, but it's not right to criticize someone for doing something they have no particular experience in. It's not right because everyone starts out as a novice, you know, they all start like a nymph in the water. They are getting from point A to point B, just trying to survive. And when they manage to get good at something, they use that to their advantage to help them ex expand on their daily living. We humans are the same way. We go from point A to point B. We're just getting through our days, just living day to day, trying to do our best. But of course, there are always people that are going to criticize you because you are not very good at it. Mind you, I have not had any critics of the sort. I mean, I had a critic on one of my earliest videos with one thumbs down, or actually two thumbs down, I think it was, on my on one of those Five Nights at Freddy's videos. And that really jarred me up at the beginning because you knew that could happen. It's just still hard to be prepared for it. But I find that when you give people a satisfaction of, you know, gain that gloat over you, it doesn't work too well. In my case, I'm like, so what? Make fun of me anymore. It's not like I care. In fact, I can laugh at myself all day. Here is all the things I laugh about myself and cry at night sometimes. One thing, I live with my parents still. I am 26 and I still live with my parents. Whoopee. And uh, I have not bought a new fedora in forever, despite the fact that uh, my name is Good Fedora Fella. The main reason is because I have nowhere to really place these things. Though, thankfully, that's going to be changing soon, because uh, I'm going to be doing some reorganizing around here. In fact, I've been spending a lot of my time just cleaning up. In fact, that's another thing where this video kind of comes up, where I'm... Cleaning up this room and there's memories kind of coming up because this room had parts of it that was untouched in forever. And all of a sudden I find this stuff that just makes me reminisce about some of the things in the past. And I'm looking at my YouTube channel just kind of reminiscing about my past experiences with all those videos. And uh, it's kind of heartbreaking when I started thinking about it. I was actually kind of troubled for the most part today because I didn't know how I was going to go about this because it seems kind of sudden to drop my channel but the fact of the matter is my parents didn't give a crap what I did I ser and I merely said that to try and convince myself that if there was going to be any objection there was at least a fail safe right there so Am I really going to commit to stopping this channel? Chances are... 50-50, really. Because on one hand, I'm not getting anywhere, I'm not making any money, and I seem to be endlessly wasting my time editing, wasting my time showing people gameplays that they really could care less about, going through the files I have of videos I have yet to edit, and then publish those, and... And then dealing with everything in between that, especially when it comes to uploads, because that's a pain in the butt, though. Even though I've got this new laptop here that uploads things so much faster, it still has its moments where it's like, yeah, you know, maybe you don't know and maybe you do know. I mean, the average law abiding citizen with a good computer or a decent one would still have a hard time uploading some things, but... Well, give or take, you know, that's how it goes. But anyways, I was also thinking about how while I'm cleaning my room, I realized there was actually kind of a change in the way I was thinking when this room started getting cleaned up. Because for the longest time, it had been just this place where I'm just living day to day trying to get by and then editing videos here and there and then trying to just pick up the pieces of my life and reminiscing about having my own home and hoping that I will have that soon. And I realized that a clean room is like a clean soul, you know? With all the stuff that's in it and the lack of cleaning it, the condition of your room can often be a condition of your inner spirit 
or your inner self, really, or whatever you want to call it, your inner mana, your chi, your uh, your invigoration, your inner woman, <laughs> you know, whatever fits the bill for you, you know, it can all work, I think, maybe not the inner woman for a man, but, uh, you know, in this day and age, I would not be surprised that someone actually takes that phrase. Just saying. But ever since I started cleaning this room, I started realizing the only reason this room is getting cleaned is because my way of thinking about things started changing too. I mean, I uploaded more videos now. I've been more productive about things. It's just bizarre how that happened. The main reason for that is because I realize how much time is going by and there is no way of, you know, getting that time back once you lose it. There's no point in moping about the past. There is no point in trying to, you know, beat the facts into your head saying over and over again, you still live with your parents. You don't have a college education. You didn't even graduate preschool or anything like that. Well, actually preschool. I mean, I got to the third grade. Does that count? But despite the lack of education, I'm not stupid. I know how to read and I know how to write. I still need spell check when I write, but pff, honestly, in the modern household, who doesn't have that problem with spell check? And according to Grammarly, I actually have a pretty high percentage role in uh, how I uh, use unique words and stuff like that. So, yeah, and I'm also more productive on it, too, because I'm constantly writing stuff on it, at least when the internet is good. All the scripts and stuff I write, I use Grammarly for it every day, you know, just to kind of keep going at it. That, and I know that Grammarly will always keep my documents, so plus plus. And I've been reading a lot more too, so that also seems to have an effect on me, but I know that for now, things are kind of at a standstill at the moment. I mean... On one hand, I want to keep making videos, but on the other hand, I know better than to just keep holding up a dead cat and hoping that it's going to smell fresher. You know, that's a horrible metaphor. That's actually a very grim one. Let's just say a rotten avocado. Oh, I can really smell it. Ugh. But yeah, it's a rotten avocado, and I'm just expecting it's going to smell better. It's not going to smell better just going to ferment longer so you might have to drop that though sometimes it could be the opposite and what do you know physics has changed everything or rather it just dried up in your hand and all that odor is just starting to fade away because it's essentially turning to composted dirt in your hand you never know really but you start getting a grasp on what you have by trying and I realize that for the most part, I haven't been trying like hardcore in a long time. So, I decided I'm going to stick around for a little longer and see how things go. And all of you who are watching this can kind of decide on whether or not this is a, this is a calling I should keep following. Because I'm kind of used to using YouTube, but of course... If it isn't doing me any good, there's no point in going forward. That's just how it is because it takes a lot of time. I mean, we're talking like eight hours of a day just to get a single video done or maybe a whole bulk of videos, you know, to kind of sequence out if you do it correctly, you know, just do one long let's play and then start dividing it in a single session. That's still like eight to nine hours, sometimes 10, depending on how bad you botched up your planning. So, <sighs> it's one of those things where you have to stop and think about seriously and decide, is this worth holding on to? You know, it's, is it worth going on for? And honestly, I don't have an answer for that. But what I can say as a fact right now is that I do have a project in mind. Now I did have a project originally planned out where I was going to do something that involved all the progress I had used throughout the previous years, kind of building them up together into this single session where it would be like an hour long. 
And uh, it was going to be all Gary's Mod stuff or random stuff that I had done that will kind of fit with the sequence of the holiday for to end the new year in a bang. But uh, I realized that a lot of the stuff I had done before was really, really bad planning on my part. Because I have to edit in sounds that I did not have previously because all the stuff I had before was just contaminated with a bunch of distractions in the background and basically I had to mute everything out and then add sound into everything and so on so forth rinse and repeat cut out all the extra footage that I thought I had to keep on to like I'm obsessive hoarder and just cut away all the crap that I'd been collecting expecting that I did not want to ex eliminate all of it because I would need some of it, you know, like filler or something like that. I have no idea what I was thinking at the time, but there it was. Tons of crap to go through to get to the gold pieces. But then again, I guess gold is kind of, you know, hard to get, therefore that's why its value is uh, inherent. But then again, it might not even be gold, it could be fool's gold in your first place. So... You know, take what you can. And another project I had in mind was actually a uh, a different version of A Christmas Carol, which I was going to actually bring in a bunch of from family and friends to start editing with the videos and stuff like that. Well, more like add their voice contribution to it, and then I was going to edit it, but I realized I had a terrible script set up, and it needed a little more tinkering before it'd be set, because it's one of those things where it's a story, and it's my story, so I take it very personally when I want to get done, so I don't want to put anything done that's halfway there, you know, because it's not worth it then. You don't want to put something halfway done and put it out there, and on top of that, there's a couple of things that I hadn't planned out yet at the time, so it was one of those things where it's like, I had to reason it out, and I came to the decision I could not do it this year. So there's two things that I realized that I can't do this year. So then I was stumped and I was thinking, okay, what am I going to do then? What can I do to end this year in any positive note? But now I've got an idea. And I'm hoping I'll get done on that very day. And when New Year's is here, I will have a new video on here that will feature a song. Not my own song. It will be a song done by another who... I admire her work, and also the fact that she took this work from another person's work that also did a really good job, really. And so, technically, I'm borrowing from someone who had borrowed from another person, but in return, I'm going to buy the entire disc album on Amazon that had like 32 reviews, and I'm going to add my own review to it, because I don't know all the songs on that list, because they're all in Japanese, just about, but you know what? I have listened to like three songs done from the artist and I have loved all of them, honestly, even though I don't understand a thing that they are saying without translations. So I figured, why not? And it'll be a good challenge to kind of set myself up with to see if I can dig out some of that old knowledge I had stuffed in the back of my head that's been accumulating for the longest time. So... For my New Year's video, I am going to do a music video, even though I would like it to be my own song. Realistically, that's not going to happen, let alone make it, you know, decent enough on time to, you know, be tolerable. Well, why should I bother making a new song if I'm going to rush through it? I want to take my time for it, and I have been practicing my music making, so... In this regard, I'm just going to put the skills that I have to use, and then you all can decide whether or not I should improve on it. If you guys can imagine me making something drastically crazier in the future, something fantastic even. And if it does work out the way I'm hoping, you guys can even put in suggestions on what I should do next. And hopefully, I can find something that will kind of rejuvenate that passion that will suddenly kick up and it'll be something that my parents won't feel ashamed of when they see it you know kind of think of it i'd be absolutely shocked if my mother watched this whole thing through because even though she is somewhat of an adamant fan of mine 
mostly because of tolerance, I think it is. I, uh, I honestly can't see her sticking to this video long enough to watch it, let alone any of my siblings. So, I am expecting that this will be seen by anyone outside of my immediate family. So, you know, I don't know what else to say about that. This is just one of those things where I just had to say something. You know, I have to post this up because this is the anniversary of my very first video and that video has a special place in my heart as well as many of the other videos afterwards. The good, the bad, the questionable, the, uh, the hardcore sweat I went through in some of those sessions because my sea at the time just got really warm during the summertime and stuff like that and all the other projects I wanted to do that I hadn't been able to finish because of time reasons. It seemed like I never had enough time, but the truth is I probably had plenty of time, but I didn't know how to manage it very well. But I'm hoping that this time around, with the way things are going, that I will be able to do, turn things around and possibly get a positive reaction out of this. But if I don't, well, it's alright. It's one of those things where it's like I have a suspicion that's not working the way I'm hoping it would. But you kind of hope that's going to work a lot better than you're imagining it will. So, yeah, take it with a grain of salt, right? But anyways, that's all I have to say at the moment. Since I made this video so freaking long, I'm going to have to stop right here and hope that I can edit it before morning. Anyways, thank you all for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Now let me take a drink from my cup right here of Don't Be Basic. If you can read all the words. Yep, you can read all the words. Okay. Uh, Pepsi. Oh, that came suddenly. <laughs> uh, I've also gotten a love for apple cider recently, too. I forgot how that stuff tastes. Mm, good stuff. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed at least some of this. I know it's nothing like what I usually do on this channel, and... I know that most people don't even bother watching most of the stuff I do because, you know, most people are just nice and just subscribe for any real reason. But for anyone who would happen to see this, I hope that they will seriously consider looking through my stuff and giving me a real critical analyst on what I can and can't improve on, you know. Most likely the latter where I... Where <laughs> Uh, everyone's going to criticize me on what I could have done better, but it's nothing that I haven't already been kicking myself about. So, you know, and as a cancellation, I've also been writing a lot, so there's that too. Anyways, sorry to make this video so long, and I'm sorry if you feel down or anything like that. Please don't, because it's not like this would be the end of the world as we know it. I mean, there's tons of YouTuber artists out there that are doing things. I'm just letting you know that I'm not going to leave this channel immediately like I had originally planned, which I was thinking, oh, man, I'm going to be so depressed when I do this. But no, I'm not quitting my YouTube channel. Not yet, anyways. I'm going to give it a little more time, you know, maybe like three or four more months, maybe. And then we're going to see where we sit on right there. But in the meantime, I got to stop this video and then I got to start posting it because i already told you the process of how it's gonna go so i gotta make sure it's all prepped and ready before it's, it's all said and done but anyways in the end i hope that the new year's video i'll have posted up will be worthwhile and enough to kind of put a smile on someone's face anyways but i'm also hoping to kind of integrate a kind of story in there about myself because the song that it's related to actually kind of it kind of painted a picture for me where it's like I could see myself sitting in that very position. The emotional drive that was kind of in it. Both in the original song and in the translated uh, cover version. And I have to admit, it, it did a lot for me, honestly. When I was kind of struggling today, 
I just kept listening to that song and over and over and over again the last couple of days before, and I was like, suddenly, I decided I want to make a video on it. Hopefully it'll turn out well, and of course I can keep repeating the same thing over and over and over and over and over and over again, <laughs> and uh, it's, no one will really uh, buy. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just talking at this point and just trying to find a way on how to end it, but I keep finding something new to talk about. That's how everyone feels when they are trying to leave a conversation and it's just not stopping. So I'm just going to do you all a favor and the conversation right now before it gets out of hand. Anyways, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I seriously hope to, that you consider giving me a serious review in some way or another. Whether it's negative or not, it's fine. Because if you guys all give me a negative comment, that just gives me an excuse to buy cake or make my own cake. Because that's a thing I already had planned before. If I got like a hundred dislikes, I'm going to make myself a full two stack cake of my own. You know, one of those big old cake pans. Just two stacks on top of it. Strawberry glazing on the center with real strawberries and then some cream all over it. Mmm, ooh la la. That would be a perfect day for me, so I can care less if you give me dislikes or likes. Because either way, I'll be happy. If I get likes, that means that my time was not wasted. If I get dislikes, well, that means I get an excuse to enjoy cake. So, take it in any way you do. Because I honestly want honest opinions here. So anyways, thank you for watching. Be free. You know, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do it in a more humble way. Because <clears throat> when I did that, I was thinking, what would be a trade that I would use that would truly signify what I stand for? What do I really want from my audience? What do I want people to do when they see my stuff? And then it hit me a long, long time ago. I wanted people to be free. I wanted them to be creative. But most importantly, I want them to be open-minded because if you had all three of those qualities together, just about anything is possible. Anything. You're easier going. You're more confident in yourself even. You're capable of doing more than someone who closes their mind and reduces their creativity. My grandma had already done that and I've already seen where that kept her. I don't want anyone to be in that same position. You can go beyond where you are. I've seen it done time and time again. And I'm already... Well, that was bizarre. And I already know that it can be done. So please, do not doubt yourself or the power that you possess. You can be free, creative, and open-minded. And you still can be a one... You can still be one heck of a person and you will make one heck of an impression on people even if you don't see it outwardly I'm good for Dora fella signing out Doodaloo